Russian pilot. In today's video, I'm going to explain how I'm currently able to stay and breathe under the water using the equipment that I'm having. I'm very excited about this one, so let's head up to the surface and have a chat up there. Okay, hi guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that little introduction. I've just got back on surface um, and I thought I would uh, show you um, like a mini introduction uh, without getting too complicated of um, the equipment and also a mini uh, sort of a tour of the boat really. Okay, as you can tell, we have different pipes coming in to the what we call the umbilical and the umbilical is uh, about i believe it's about 120 meters long it's always longer on the standby uh, should there be a rescue and there is lots of stuff happening but the the main function of this uh, system is really to feed uh, an unlimited supply but it's a very large supply of air going through the mask to the block to the diver uh, also we have the communication system which is throughout these hoses which also supply the the camera and the light to the diver bailout bottle should there be an emergency um, for example an air cut or a bad gas uh, the diver has the bailout to be able to come up to the surface this particular mask is called uh, KB Morgan Band Mask uh, 28 or KMB 28. Uh, you might have seen the previous vi uh, video that I was wearing the full on um, helmet, which uh, basically the function of it is like, exactly the same as the band mask. The only difference is it's a little bit more secure in the back, of course, with the shell um, for any construction work or for long dives. Uh, it's better communication and also better security, but for the purpose of swimming and perhaps inspection work, uh, this is uh, much easier and lighter to use. Now, a little bit about Kirby Morgan. Kirby Morgan's been uh, producing um, diving masks and helmets uh, for both military and commercial use from the 60s. Um, I'm gonna put a little photo up here uh, of one of the earlier models of uh, the Kirby Morgan band mask. Uh, courtesy of my good friend Craig, who is a diver and an enthusiast of the history of diving and collecting uh, vintage pieces. So thank you very much for letting me use uh, this photo. Uh, and of course, up to date, still Kirby Morgan going strong. Um, it's the only uh, Band mask, or it's, I would say it's the most common and most used, at least from in, in my experience. If maintained properly, uh, very, very um, trustworthy and solid piece of kit. And now you might think why there's two <laughs> bottles of Zalo, they call it in Norway, or fairy liquid or dishwasher liquid, <laughs> whatever is doing here. And that is to stop the mask from fogging up. So we use a tiny bit the mask so if you were wondering what they're doing <laughs> that's what they're for now you might think so where does this air come from obviously we all know from here it's coming to the diver but where does it come from so let's go two step back and on this boat we have the cylinders I'm just gonna open it up okay it's a little bit dark down there but i'm gonna show you anyways using my phone light Okay, so we have three cylinders on the main tank, three cylinders on tank number two, and we have two backup cylinders. So in all, we have eight cylinders. Um, two are used for uh, three on the main bank, three on the second bank. Uh, and two, should, the, should there be a reserve or an emergency use. So the air is stored in these um, high pressure gas bottles. They reach 49 liters and they're all pumped up to 200 bars. Uh, so from the compressor that we have, I'm gonna show you later on, 
um, it's charged from a charging point, which I'm gonna show you. Yeah. So the air is kind of through the charging point down to these bottles. Now there's one more important step that the air is gonna sort of more, more stop, if you will. And that would be the supervisor panel um, where, the, where the supervisor has control of the, the air supply to the diver. So let's go and uh, check out the, the panel. Okay, so I'll, I have turned everything on just to kind of briefly show you what's going on here. There's lots of valves and knobs and regulators. Um, but basically, the air from those cylinders that I just showed you will travel to this panel here. Now this will show, for example, here on the tank number two, we have 200 bars of pressure and the reserve tank, we're a bit low, 170. And also number one is a little bit low. So the boat has been used for diving today, hence the pressure is a little bit low. Uh, we have the compressor on charging, so it's uh, filling up as we speak. So if I open this valve, now there's a regulator because we have a high, we have high pressure gas and I want to regulate that to approximately 10, so it's in between 10 to 12 bars normally, depending on the depth we're diving. And then the air will go through another valve. If I open that, and the final step, this will feed the air to the diver. Boom. Now the diver has air to the mask. Uh, so throughout this process, it's the same with the diver two. And also if there was an emergency, we could isolate these tanks uh, and you can use different tanks to kind of feed the air. Now the supervisor has always full control of the the dive panel as, as well as the boat really to see what's going on as you can see a bunch of cameras going on depth monitor to see the diver's depth uh, his maximum depth how long he's been in the water um, and yeah and also we have a communication setup here the comms talking to the diver um, we have you can just ignore that really it's a very modern boat, but uh, there's still nothing beats a little bit of towel and some gaff tape, <laughs> which help with the sound. Um, so that's it really. Um, so air will travel to the diver and then we can go diving. We have plenty of air that the supervisor is controlling, um, supervising the dive, the depth. Um, we have camera, we have lights and this is uh, yeah ready for diving. Okay, that was a very um, brief and basic explanation of the main system and how the surface supply diving works. Um, I figured it might be interesting for some people um, that uh, perhaps seen photos uh, of surface supply diving and didn't exactly know how it works. I hope I've managed to cover the basic of it. Um, in the future, um, I'm looking into recording more videos of actually um, us working uh, and the dive operation is going on so you can get a bit more realistic feel of uh, how things work. Um, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you have any questions, anything you'd like to share, please let me know. Finally, I wanted to say a big thanks to Radu, uh, my good friend and colleague who helped me earlier uh, with the opening scene of this video. He kindly agreed to help me after a long day of work so thank you very much I'm planning to produce at least a video every week uh, it's, it's going to be every sunday at 6 p.m central europe time and thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye